what we enable is better connectivity between your mobile device and your environment. Uh, so uh, whether that's you know ticketing, um, we're shortlist this year where your device can broadcast ticketing data using sound to uh, an, a corresponding check-in device and allow easy check-in uh, to you know transmitting your payment information to check out to transmitting uh, you know allowing Bluetooth to pair better. Um, I think uh, our ultimate goal is to, is to use this as become a standard for device-to-device -device connectivity and uh, improve consumer experiences wherever they are. Well, you know, every protocol that we use today, um, whether it's Bluetooth or, or Wi-Fi or RFID, I mean, these, these are technologies that were created 20 to 30 years ago, right? But we create new products on old protocols. Um, and I, I like to re, re, you know, I like to reimagine with our clients and say, if you had the perfect protocol, how would this device interact with the environment? And it would interact very differently. I think ticketing is just one of those use cases that's it's very very real. The only reason why you line up is that it's a one-to-one -one authentication based on a barcode. Um, that's not the optimal consumer experience to have everyone line up. If I could identify everyone in the line, I would make a, a wiser choice on who should get in and when and how. So device-to-device -device connectivity is much bigger than a, a, a solution or one of these use cases, it's, it's really, it lives and breathes in everything we do, whether you're, you're connecting it at home, your car, to audience measurement, to where we actually started uh, was uh, sen uh, sending messages based on where you are, marketing messages. Imagine a coupon um, near a, a checkout in a, in a retailer. That's where we started. Um, all of that is just device-to-device -device connectivity. I think you can create a great technology, or you can use a great technology. Um, the merger of the two, with creatives and technology is, is, is real. And I, I think this, that's what this is an example of. I, and honestly, I think I'm probably more of a creative than a technologist. Yeah, you know, I think, I think uh, you know, our, so RGA uh, did invest in us. And it's an interesting scenario because they invested in us in, 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 in late 2014 um, and, and really early in, in, in our discovery um, in terms of what we think we should do. Um, so I always say in the beginning, um, you know, a lot of their services apply to listener, you know, the, our communication, our brand messaging, um, and then ultimately what the product does. I think that agencies are uniquely positioned not only to help startups um, create that message, but more importantly, bring innovation to their clients or be a part of that innovation. And then there's a very, very structured process of mentorship, uh, throughout as well as projects that they're working on um, and, and when we were in Accelerator uh, they also uh, were pitching us to their clients in a, in a very structured way um, as they were pitching to the clients they were also helping us with the messaging you know well you know the, the, this is the true benefit versus X that's, that's one of the best things about I think the program is that it, I think it's a, it's a long-term relationship and it's, it's a relationship that's not, that's not about just bringing us to their clients, but how can we best help you?